All right, guys, um, what I want to share with you is a recent repair that I've done on my XR3i seat. Um, what had happened was, over time, these side pieces here, they will spread out, okay, and they'll be very flat. Um, this passenger seat, you know, it's had no wear in its life, and it's, it's really quite quite firm. The driver's seat on the other hand, when I got this car these were literally flat. Inside these pieces you've got a piece of metal which pretty much runs along the inside and then you've got foam on the top uh, to cushion it. The metal bends and then eventually pokes through the bolster and destroys it, destroys the foam. So I went on eBay, looked around eBay, and I could find these side pieces for an RS Turbo. So I thought about it, they were 30 odd pound I think. So I thought about it and I didn't, I didn't buy them. And it's a good job, because this piece from here to here is one complete piece of foam. The RS Turbo, this is individual to this. So you could probably somehow botch it, but I decided not to. What I did was, I went to a local scrapyard and I got the entire bottom piece off an XR3i in the yard. I got it off the passenger side. So the passenger side and the driver's side, they both fit. They're universal. So I got the complete foam piece. I then had to take the seat apart. This back piece comes away from the bottom and the bottom is held on by little tiny metal clips running all the way around. There's some wire frame which runs down here on each side and again little metal clips. To replace them I used cable ties instead of the little metal clips, it was just far too fiddly. But um, this is the end result. Okay, so it's not 100% because there's a little bit of sagging from where it's obviously stretched. But yeah, generally very pleased. This metal, it had literally snapped. It had snapped at this end here, I think it was. So I've, I've welded the metal frame, the metal piece, back to the frame on each side. And it's solid as a rock. Okay. So it's a common problem that I know a lot of people have been discussing how to repair and I just thought I'd share some ideas. Taking this back piece off from this is, is pretty simple. A few screws here and then there's some more screws on the inside. Uh, the hardest bit was removing this material, which has these metal pieces running down here. But I'll upload some pictures and feel free to ask as many questions as you, as you like. I just thought I'd share that. Um, but yeah, not a bad job. Uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.